Claude Swanson didn't find what he was looking for as he worked his way through his Bachelor of Science in Physics at MIT and later his doctorate in physics at Princeton. There were simply too many questions regarding energy dynamics, paranormal experience, and more that could not be addressed through the standard scientific model. He began looking to ancient cycles of consciousness and the science of remote viewing to prove that we can indeed bridge the worlds of science and spirituality. Claude says that some of what we now call the new sciences, in fact, closely resemble what was once referred to in ancient cultures as magic. I wanted to understand how the universe works. That's what got me in. And so I didn't want to take any easy superficial answers. I wanted to have a feeling that what I understood was the truth. And that's really what I was looking for in science. And so when you have that attitude, you can kind of get a sense sometimes when the answer is facile. If someone does an experiment and then afterwards they cobble together a mathematical theory that'll give the results of that experiment, that's not really an explanation. You know, we can always do curve fitting and explain things that way, but it's not a deep understanding. Uh, one thing that made the Einstein... The complexity's missing. Yeah, and, and that, that intuition. I mean, mm -hmm. one thing that made Einstein so special is he had one or two core deep principles that he thought of. Like in relativity, special relativity, the idea was light is always constant in the frame of motion which you're in, and there's no way to tell which frame is special. They're all equal in a way. And now we're kind of learning, 100 years later, that maybe that's not quite right, that maybe there is an ether, and maybe this not, relativity is not quite as right as we thought. 